Well, welcome. Uh, it's really lovely to say hello and welcome you to our daily service for today on what is a really significant day, isn't it? If you're in England, then you woke up to another lockdown. Many of us have been feeling a pretty strong sense of deja vu. Even if you're in the UK, certainly if you're in the States, you've been watching the results of the presidential election. And as I speak on Wednesday morning, um, 10.30 GMT on Wednesday morning, the, the race is, is still too close to call. It is a significant day. The wonderful thing, if we're known and loved by the Lord Jesus, the wonderful thing is that our everlasting and almighty God has brought us safely to this new day. The wonderful thing is he will equip us to be faithful with whatever this day and this week holds. We're going to express a, that trust by praying together this prayer. Let's pray together. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pete kicked us off in Psalm 1 yesterday. We're continuing to look at these verses. Today our focus will be on verse 3, but I'm going to read it, verses 1 to 3 of Psalm 1. Let's read. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and he meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do, prospers. Perhaps today you feel insecure or unstable, perhaps unrooted. Certainly the future seems uncertain. Perhaps you wake up knowing that the next month, if you've just entered lockdown, is going to be really, really hard and you're not sure how you're going to face it. Perhaps you're scared for the future of your country or the future of the world. Pete yesterday um, said that Psalm 1 depicts two ways of living. There's the way of the righteous, the man or the woman who delights in God's word, in God's law. And then there's the way of destruction, the way of the wicked, the way of the scoffer. Today we're thinking about the way of the righteous. The way of the one who trusts in the Lord and hears his word and takes it to heart. And the Lord in his great kindness, in his great providential kindness for this morning, all of us, all of us waking up to different things, the Lord in his great kindness gives us a wonderful picture for the life of the believer. Verse 3 again. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and his leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. For the believer, security, rootedness, flourishing, prospering. As the believer is fed by the sap of the word of God, they are like a tree. Imagine with me, it's a dry land, the sun beats down, but there are streams of water running through the rock. Clear, sweet, water and a tree magnificent against the skyline standing secure and firm roots that go deep feeding on the nutrients from the water as it flows on by and each fruit season the tree bears fruit and the and the branches of the tree groan under the weight of the fruit that it bears and the fruit is so good and so sweet and so succulent The sap from the tree feeds all the branches and the leaves, which are so green and plenteous, they do not fail. Never is there a year where the tree just begins to die and the leaves turn brown and mouldy. Year after year after year, 
the tree stands flourished and nourished by the water of the streams, stands firm and secure, bearing fruit in its season. And if you can see that tree in your mind's eye, well, you can see the life of a believer, fed by the sap and the sweet nutrients of the water that is the word of God, the law of God, on which we delight. You may not feel very much like whatever you do prospers. You may not feel like you bear good fruit in the Christian life. You may not feel very secure wherever and whenever you're watching this. But the Lord God wants you to know that in Christ, the righteous one, the one who always delighted in the law of God, in Christ you are secure and firm and sure. You will bear fruit for his glory. You are strong and stable in him. Whatever this day, whatever this week, whatever these next four years or this next four weeks looks like. We're going to pray a prayer, asking that would be true of us. And we're going to use some words from Psalm 92. We'll pray these words together. Let's pray. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will still stay fresh and green, proclaiming, the Lord is upright, he is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. We continue in prayer. Almighty God, you the sovereign ruler of all the nations, we pray today for the United States of America. Off the back of the elections yesterday, Father, we pray for unity and respect and a loyalty to that nation from its citizens that transcends tribal positions. We pray that democracy would be respected and upheld and we pray that the new president of those United States would be, whether it is Donald Trump or Joe Biden, we pray that he would be a man who recognises that position is too much for him and cries out to the one who is the true ruler of all the nations. We pray that he would rule with respect and wisdom, with truth and justice. And we pray for the church in the United States. Please, Father, we pray for unity in Christ, knowing that ultimately the hope for the world, the hope for warring, divided people being brought together as in his gospel, the one who brought together warring peoples in his death. We pray the church would be very hopeful ultimately in the gospel and the peace that Jesus brings. We pray the church in that country would confidently proclaim the one who rules over every nation and whose rule can always be trusted, the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray too for those of us living in England as today we enter this month at least of lockdown. Father, we pray the R number would come down and that Boris Johnson and his cabinet and his advisers within SAGE and elsewhere would see fit to lift that lockdown as soon as possible. We think of the great harm uh, that will come to those that are most vulnerable as a result of lockdown, those who are poor, um, those who are isolated, those who are lonely. We think of the effects of a global lockdown on the global poor, the inevitable and ongoing shrinking of the global economy, the loss of livelihoods. And Father, we don't know what to pray, so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Please, Lord, have mercy. In Jesus' name we pray all these prayers. Amen. Our song contains what are for me deeply precious truths in uncertain times. When I fear my faith will fail, Christ 
will hold me fast. When the tempter would prevail, he will hold me fast. Thank you for joining us today. We'll close with a final prayer. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy to the only God our Saviour be glory, majesty, power and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages now and forevermore. Amen.